Uh, uh. Even that hand can't keep up. It's like, oh, bro, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! My hands are tired now. Welcome back. Don't you welcome me back. So let's play Paper Mario, uh, Sticker Star. I'm not welcoming you back, I'm I'll welcoming all of them back. I'll flick you in the elbow. Flick but me. ow, my elbow. <laughs> anyway, we're on to the Yoshi Sphinx. Heck yeah. Maybe we'll see those dastardly fiends what we saw before. I don't even know why I did that. Just something to do. Whatever, yeah. let's go in. Yoshi Sphinx. Yoshi! Sphinx. Sphinx. Hey, Shore Leave can do it. He's adorable. And awesome. Hey, it's those three guys, what we saw before. There's a comet piece, three guys, and a shiny treasure box. Well, that looks like stuff that I want. If you can't love Shore Leave from Venture Brothers, we're not gonna be we can't be friends ever. <laughs> that guy is the greatest. He's he acts so sissy like, but totally owns up to it and can kick your ass while being acting like it, so. I don't know Mario's. Ooh. Stickers. Ooh. How long have Yoshi's been around and been such a big thing for them to have made it into a Sphinx? Ah, Sphinx. Well, see, now that we're bringing it up, I have to do that bit. Bitchin'. I kill everything! I am the Mario! I am the Mario, right? I think. Hard to tell, honestly. Sometimes I just kill to try to make the voices go away. Admittedly, and I think this is one of the various qualms with this brr, game, brr, brr. is there's no real reason to get into fights. I mean, unless you need money. Ooh, that's a Sphinx. And we kind of don't need money. Well, considering the cap is like 9,999 coins, I'll do it anyway, because yeah. I mean, they give you so much money, and you don't need that much money, at least not that I've seen. <laughs> no! Also, sometimes you get those nice little stickers. Those are stickers. Stickers. Yeah, you kind of use like, stickers to get them, though. It's like Sean Connery saying stickers. Stickers. <laughs> like the way he's like, like a little hiding back here. Hmm. Just something about his the, the adorable like. You can't see me. Can't see me. Okay, hit that dumb question mark block because I don't care about Mario hiding. I'm more curious what's in that. Okay, there we it's go. It's an e-camera. My curiosity has been subsided. Well, that's good. But you don't get driven crazy anymore. Well, crazy er, but... Hey, I do what I can. The voices just get louder sometimes. Ba boom Okay, now, you mentioned that you actually do get more money at the end of a stage, depending on how many dudes you've killed. Yes. So if you do want money, it is actually a decent idea to kill all of the dudes in the stage. Yeah, pretty much. Alright. As long as they don't respawn. Respawning stuff doesn't really count to the count. Hey, a door. I'm gonna go in it. Whatevs, yo. Hmm. It's a little dark and everything. Those are bones, and those do not make... Do, do not fill me with hope. I don't like the darkness. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bones aren't supposed to move. Uh-oh. Dry bones! Dry bones and... Okay, no. That was another dry bones. Just one bone sitting there. Hey, remember how dry bones can't be killed at all in the uh, all the Mario games? Yeah. Outside of special circumstances? Same things with these guys. They stay on the field like that, and then they come back after a while. Okay. You could kill them with the um, the cape. And like, like I said, special the tail circumstances. The tail flip. 
But just jumping on them regularly does not. Do you see sand on the floor here? Sorta. Of. Hmm. Yeah, there's light coming from here. Hmm. Very rude secret door opening up on me. Hey, an entrance wave. That spiny just fell from the top. Well, that's terrifying. Very much so. Oh, there's stuff down there I want. There is, and that looks like a hammer, bro. Let's hammer this, bro. Well, let's go get him. Oh my god! There's a lot of them! There's so much! Just the one dry bone? Just one dry bone. Of course, he's gonna keep coming back, so there's that. Yeah. Yeah, you get the bone sticker. Oh man. Now let's take care of these. Hammer Bros. One's enough, trust me. I assume they throw hammers. They like to throw hammers. And yes. they have 22 HP each. Yep. So they're not messing around. No, they are not. But if that sombrero bro was here, he would have made everything worse. Watch out. I was gonna say, you're really gonna try to get stickers up off the floor when they're throwing hammers at you? Listen, I will get stickers any time of the day I want to. I'm just thinking about personal safety is all. Even while enemies are attacking me, I'll just look them in the eye and go like, don't fuck with this. And then they will anyway. I do that all the time. Like in Final Fantasy XIV, when I come across enemies and they randomly attack me, and I can just demolish the shit out of them. I don't think he's going away. I'll continue this thought after this battle. But they'll like... It's like the enemies that are not ten levels below you, and they aggro to you, and I just keep thinking, you don't want a piece of this, yet you're getting it because you just pretty much asked for it. Gotta keep things exciting for you. What? Really? If you're gonna kill him a oh. third time? Well, I didn't know you could do that. He's trying to assemble himself. Let me try that again. I gotta see this. Come on. Don't waste my time. Wasting my time. Oh. Don't give me that back because I want in here. To be honest, I've completely Whoop. lost track of where you even are, so I have no idea. Oh, there we go. Oh wow, that doesn't actually engage you in battle. Sometimes those guys aren't messing around. No, no, they are not. See if I got a space for this. I should have space for it because I get the. It's a big sticker. Uh, God, it's taking a while. Oh, a mega flash hammer. That is that is a sticker. These are the best of the best of the normal stickers. Strikes foes with a super strong whack. Also takes up the space of four stickers. Yeah, that's my only problem. Is like it's the best sticker. It's one of the best stickers you can get. But look at the space it takes up in comparison to the regular ones. I guess you're trading efficiency for. Uh, uh, I guess you're trading efficiency for something. Efficiency for power. Oh, jeez, brightness. Oh man, another heart. I know, and we can totally get it in this level. Heck yeah. I have no idea where you are at this point. To be honest, so I've got nothing on this map. Now we got to go all the way back up. Oh, we're so back in front of the Sphinx now. Yeah, that was on the other side of the Sphinx. Okay. Try to get your bearings again. Yeah, I'm still sort of lost, but I think I understand more now. I'll see if we can make you understand less. Yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> Make you understand less. How does King Crimson work? Ah! Uh -huh. That was nice of them to get die and get out of my way. Hey, more some bird now. <gasps> more stuff. <gasps> more stuff. More stuff to organize. I'm gonna go back here. And you're still very quickly running out of space. 
Pikachu! And that's how you get this sticker. Oh, crap! I don't know if that's the best descriptor for Mario. Sexy? Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. I don't know. I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet that would say otherwise. That's the internet. <laughs> the internet is hurt, very... Hurt. Oh! Oh, man. Hey, a heart block. That's probably bad news. Probably means there's something nasty coming up. Which is why I won't go that way, because if you actually paid attention in this last room... <gasps> secret door back behind this pillar. Oh, man. Oh, God, pillar man. <laughs> Most horrific death in Mario. Can't see a thing. There we go. I can see things now. And paperization? Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's use this one. I don't know, you got a lot of jump stickers. <laughs> That's why I'm using the jump stickers. Maybe I can get something non-jumpy. Like a shiny non-jumpy. How did I... Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew there was one there. One way or the other. More jumpies! All the jumpies. And now you have a full inventory. And now I gotta make sure I'm on a specific page of stickers that I want to use, because... Battle! Oh, jeez, it's so bright. Got a lot of jump stickers. Wait, is this the side I want to come out of? I don't know, but it seems as though you're on top of the Sphinx oh, at this point. Oh, that's the tail. Let me get Sphinx! Let me go around the other way. There's something specific I want to do before I get to the tail, because I think that's the end. Which is... It may or may not be. Go through this door here. Yeah, I think the tail is the head. Or no, the tail is the end. Maybe? I'm very confused. Yeah, that was the end. Okay, yeah, I know where you are. I don't know how this works in relation okay, to anything right, else, right, right. but it's there. Oh, I still want to get down there. Hmm. But I have to fall down and then come all the way back up and around. Let me check what this is. Up, oh, that's just that way. Nope. Oh I no, we did. can't go up that oh, way. No, oh no, I fell down anyway. Whatever will I do by beating up this trio of sombrero guys? But I don't want to, because they're a band, but at the same time, fuck you! They're all playing different. This yeah, is a Maraca guy. And they all guy. even have... And they're technically different dudes. There's, there's a Maraca guy, there's a Sombrero guy, and then there's an Accordion guy. Like, they're technically different dudes. That's kind of neat. They're not different. God damn with this poison mushrooms. They're technically not different dudes, they're different... Guys. Oh. Yeah. How does that, how does that settle with you? Really? That guy's not dead. How about now? Is he dead now? I like how we never even get to see what these guys do. Well, I know they boost everybody's stats, but I don't know if they have a particular attack themselves. And that's one thing that's kind of bad about this game, is that you can kind of just kill everything in one go. Because if we try to peel that thing off there, we start a battle. And I don't... I think you can skip this battle and get to the treasure first, or... Hmm. No, I think you actually have to do this battle first. Uh-oh, somebody's acquired a target. Oh, no. It was very weird seeing them come directly at us. I, wow, I did not know that Bowser kind of reworked his Air Force to be an actual Air Force with call signs and the like. Gotta step up, man. Yeah, when you got, royal, be, sti when you got, ro when you got royal sticker power, it's time to actually act like you have an army. Uh-oh. This is probably bad for us. Of course they're talking to each other. Now, if they were using, like... It sounds like it all. Oh my god! 
If they were using, like... It sounds like it, too, because you can hear the... Of them, like, calling in on each other. Yeah, if they were doing that, it'd be a little bit different. But no, they're all just kind of standing next to each other. They're floating up there. They could reach out and, like, flick each other. Why are they flicking each other? A shell shock one over. Dink. Stop it! it. it. So this is the, I guess you could say, mini boss of World Two Two. Wow. Three paracoupas, and they're really not much. Ah. Effectively, three regular enemies. Pretty much. Koopa down, over. Yay. Ah! And thems were those guys what we could see from before. <gasps> what am I doing? Yeah, those are the guys that we've been seeing for a while now. Yeah, those were the guys kinda that were in the first were... level. Yeah, kind of surprised they didn't amount to as much, considering the build-up. Well, considering I threw shiny stickers right at them from the start, yeah, they didn't amount to much. I mean, shiny stickers make all the difference. Now, there is more up front, if we can even get to it. We can get to it, but first of all... Remember that heart? Yes. Let's go get it. Uh. Oof. Oh, hey! Yeah! I got me some more HP! Oh man, leveling up! I like how Mario pays attention to it. Looking up at it like he sees it. As if this game can't get a little more... Like... Fourth wall breaking. That was a nice little distraction. Good god, why does the screen have to be bright every time I exit from the dank area? I don't know, you ever been in a dark area and try to go somewhere light? Now, again, we've got the end of the level right there in front of us, but we can't also go into Yoshi's head. Neck. Because there was a treasure chest that we saw that we kind of good lord. Uh. 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 Oh, and light. the bats, too. Is this a light bulb? I'm getting a light bulb. Yay. Yeah! You got the light bulb. They're called swoops, thank you very much, not the bats. Don't you oh, wish I kind of like being able to see. Don't you wish you could do this with torches? Like, in real life, you can just knock them underneath and turn them off. That'd be... That'd be funny, and I'm not sure how that would work. So, how does... Uh, just take a moment and try to realize this one. How is it that when I use a fire flower, I throw fire, but yet in this world there exists paper fire? I don't know, man. It's Paper Mario. They got their own rules. Damn it, I want to break your brain. Hey, sticker. I don't like those things. Those look like something I should deal with. Hey, a uh, paracoupa. I'm once again very lost about where you are. Oh no, he hit you once. Hey, what's this? Why does everything want to fall on me? I don't know, because you're standing in front of it. Don't you try to justify the game's mechanics. Now I'm gonna fight this Goomba just to give you more editing. You know, as silly as it is, I really think the Eek Hammers is one of the one of the better hammers you can get. Hmm. Mostly because while it's single target, unlike the actual hammers, which are kind of multi-target, it's that it has that what's that word? Where it constantly increases. Like exponential damage. Yeah. This world is weird. Just every part of it is weird. It's all made of cardboard. What you gonna do? Come out the Yoshi face. One of my eyes. Let me get on the right stickers that I want to get on, because like I said, there's a battle up here that... Oh boy. Hey look, Yoshi's. I'm gonna slide down the Yoshi Sphinx nose. Sphinx. Ooh. I'm glad I hit on here. It would have been awkward elsewhere. That nose. Chest. No! It's Kamek! That's a tongue? 
Yeah, it's a tongue. Because Yoshis have tongues. Yeah, you fucker. <laughs> I'm a dude. You are most certainly not a lady. <laughs> well, obviously, because I have a penis. So... Well... Uh, there's a whole discussion we could do on that, but let's keep it Mario-esque here for now. Tawdry? I throw my hammer at you just for sounding like you're smart. I don't know, we're just kind of chilling. Well, no, technically he's right, because they're the good guys to themselves, and we're the villains standing in their way. I don't know, I think this game, I think, uh... Though, considering Bowser's whole thing is to invade a so uh, sovereign kingdom and make it his own, it's still kind of, you know, evil. See, the thing is, Mario is, like, Saturday morning cartoon-ish enough that, like, no, there is actual just evil. Yeah. And Bowser's just kind of a bad guy. Well, I mean, from their perspective, you know, the whole perspective of good and evil, that stuff. But well, it's again, just like that, that they're mostly the evil ones because they're trying to take over a sovereign nation. Well, again, that's where... A lot of the time, you have more com you can't have more complex characters, and it's actually good in storytelling to have complex characters that everybody thinks they're the good guy from their perspective. Mario is kind of Saturday morning cartoonish enough that, um, no, I'm willing to bet they actually believe they're evil, and they're just doing the evils because they're evil. I'm pretty sure that was the excuse they made in the actual Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm I'm evil. What do you Sop? mean? Stop. What do you mean, add some spice to the whole thing? <gasps> no, my stickers! He's turning them into floppy flip-flops! Oh no! Oh, stickers are flip-flops! Yeah, you're gonna lose. We will show you what casual footwear can do my two fire flowers and the one coin I get. Sandals! Sticker turned into a sandal by Kamek's magic. What was the sticker before it got transformed? I'm willing to bet they still remain what they are and you just have to... Yeah, you, have you just to... don't know by look. Yeah, well obviously this one is the Mega Flash Hammer. Yeah, we can kind of assume with that one. And I would just go up and slap him with the sandal. I was thinking it would still, like, be a fire flower if you used it. No, nope, they're actual sandals. No, yeah, no, they're actual just sandals. Okay. That'd be kind of a jerk move if you could use a... You'd end up using a sticker you didn't want to use. It's a shiny sandal. And two damage. That other sandal is just kind of lopsided. See, I told you we were going to lose. Because you gave us sandals to smack you with. I will beat you with a sandal. <laughs> he sounds quite impressed with Mario, I'll give him that. Eh, uh, whatever you say, lady. Guy. Dude. Dude lady. Psh, doesn't know about sticker power like I do. I knew about sticker power before anybody did. Yay! The flip-flop magic broke! And now we get the treasure chest. Which opened there from we the side. Yeah. Apparently treasure chests have to be opened from the front. It's like an envelope. You got the tablet piece. Okay. Why do I need a tablet? Uh-oh. Uh. <laughs> did you hear it? I did. <laughs> Yoshi. Oh, oh, and then that's how you get up to this block. Oh, how do you get a pow? Pow block. That's kind of all right. Up. Up. Oh, this is new. Damn, I was hoping to get a slow ghost badge or something. And with all that said and done, we're actually done with the chapter, finally. Yep, we can go back and to the tale and everything and finally end this chapter. 
Get the wonder, poo out of here. I wonder what that tablet piece was for. Hmm. Eh, maybe we'll find out. Oh, green's on the board! Heck yeah! It's gonna be funny later on when we get into the, like, the really deep sections. It's like, I don't fucking remember. <laughs> like, as long as somebody's keeping track, I don't care. Finally made our way through the Yoshi Sphinx. Sphinx. And that opens us up to the next zone. I'll take a rest when I'm dead. <gasps> well, I guess he's resting now. Yep, up next is the Sand Shifter Ruins, which is annoying. That sounds beautiful. It's annoying, trust me. You're going to be annoyed by it. Okay. Let me read a book while you're annoyed by it. Oh my god. So, until next time, everyone, when uh, we go get lost in a labyrinth or something. <laughs>